Okay, so let's try to do this problem. Uh, this is an example of where you would have to use the uh, Clausius-Clapeyron equation. Okay, so it says the vapor pressure of ethanol is 115 torr at 34.9 degrees Celsius. If the um, change of heat of vaporization of ethanol is 40.5 kilojoules per mole, calculate the temperature degrees Celsius when the vapor pressure is 70, 764. So again, let's write down what this problem gives us. So it says the vapor pressure initially is 115 torr. And it also gives us the temperature initially. So T1, 34.9 degrees Celsius. And remember, we always have to convert those to Kelvin. So in order to do that, add 273 to it. And that's going to be, what, 307.9 Kelvin. Um, it also gives us the change of the heat of vaporization of this, and of ethanol is 40.5 kilojoules per mole. It tells us that pressure 2, so we're trying to figure out T2 at P2, and it says that P2 is 760 torr. So we're looking for T2. What is that? So hopefully you guys can see this and see that you need to use that uh, clausius clapeyron equation. So if you recall, we're comparing one thing to another, so we're going to use that second form of it. Right? So ln in e, so ln of P2 over P1 equals um, the negative delta H fat over R times 1 over T2 minus 1 over Okay, this R here is the ideal gas constant when it's salt for joules. So um, R, this is going to be given to you, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And in fact, that's why we had to convert the temperature to Kelvin, is to cancel that out eventually. So again, like I was saying before in the last problem that we did, normally I would have you isolate the variable, but in these types of problems it can get a little hairy when you're trying to do that. So what, I'll, what I'd probably just have you guys do is just plug them all in and then chug it all out. Okay? So let's do that together and we'll cancel out all our units while we're going through the problem. So ln of P2, 760 tor divided by P1, 115 tor equals negative delta H bat 40.5 kilojoules per one mole. Okay? So that's divided by R, right? So we could say 1 over R. So in that case, it would be um, 8.314 joules per one mole Kelvin, like that. Okay, and notice this is kilojoules and this is joules, so we're going to have to cancel those out. So we're going to have to convert one to the other. Let's convert the kilojoules to joules. So one kilojoule is 1,000 joules. And now we're looking for one or T2, so or one over T2 eventually. And T1 is 307.9 Kelvin. Okay? So why did I do this? The inverse of R is because it's 
1 over r here. Okay, so it's like multiplied by 1 over r. So let's go ahead and cancel out all our units. So tors cancel there. Moles cancel with moles there. Kilojoules cancel with kilojoules there. Joules cancel with joules there. So let's just go ahead and um, figure out what all of these numbers should be. So 760 divided by 115. Take the ln of that. So 1.888. So this has no units associated with it, right? Equals 40.5 divided by 8.314 times 1,000. by that negative number, right? So Okay, so that's going to cancel there. So that number. Is everybody okay with that? So T2 equals 
1 over that number, so 349.6 Kelvin. Okay? But it asked us to give it in degrees C, right? So how do we do that? Minus 273 Kelvin and it's 76.6 degrees C. Okay? So in other words, at pressure 760 torr, the temperature is going to be 76.6 degrees C. Is everybody okay with that? Any questions on that one? I know there was a lot of steps, okay? So again, remember canceling your units out really helps, okay? So, okay, so good job, guys.